Hi everyone, this is Alex Klein, Social Media Manager for Conducive Technologies. I'm here with Todd Graham, one of our software engineers. How you doing, Todd? All right, how you doing, Alex? Pretty good, thank you. So, Todd, saw a post on a forum recently from Nick Rhodes talking about this Keeper 12 on Windows 7. He feels he could run the built-in defragmenter once a month, and kind of address his fragmentation issues, boost his performance. Why wouldn't this be the best option? Well, you're, you're dealing with a herd of a month time frame. Even, even Windows, default fragmentation is once a week. They know they need to deal with it, and they do it once a week at 1 o'clock on Wednesday morning as a default. So why wait once a month when the manufacturer tells you sooner? Huh. Yeah, that, makes, that makes pretty good sense to me. So now, the once a month defragmenter, you know, I mean, fragmentation is building up every day, okay? Yeah. So, even once a week, I mean, you got six days, you know, in between those defrag jobs where you got none of this performance boosting happening. So, I mean, it seems to me like the built-in defragmenter wouldn't even work, especially in a business environment, for, you know, pretty much anyone. Can you talk some more about that? Sure. Well, Windows 7, like you said, it's once a week, and they're going to defrag 1 o'clock in the morning to the systems. So what we think is there's fragmentation, as you said, going on every day. Every application doing a write and having to deal with that fragmentation every time it reads back. Okay? So let's prevent the writes from being fragmented in the first place. And that's what we do. We actually want to keep them in a sequential write to the disk drive all the way through the NTFS to the bus, to the disk drive, and let the disk drive just seek one time to do a write. Much more efficient, less time, higher band, higher megabytes a second, if you will. Okay? On the bridge typical, your, your performance will be when your application has to read those files. You know, the application has to read all the files, you know, and <clears throat> to present it to you as an application, it has to see all the files read. And if it has to go in hundreds of locations to put all those files together, kind of like a puzzle piece, if you will, you can imagine the stall and the wait time for that application to come alive. Hey, if they're all contiguous, it's just one read, the drive seeks, pass it on up to the application, much more efficient. Huh, so it's, it sounds like we're preventing fragmentation before it's occurring, so we don't have to kind of catch up later. There you go. Sounds good to me. Thank you, Todd. My pleasure.